Hello, everybody. So, I got my Michael Jordan shirt on. I don't know. That's up here, right there. It's not going to look at you sick. Okay, so let's get to the video. So, I got my doll on the floor. Can't see her, but oh. right there. And that's where all of our Sylvie's toys are. Stacked in one pile. So today we're gonna be making a YouTube video class. Uh it's a pet video because someone requested. I think it was Intour stuff. I'm not sure, but Intour stuff, you keep on requesting because you're awesome. Oh, show. That's Warrior right there, trying to call for you. So, yeah. I don't know. There he is. Hide. You see, I'm kind of hiding right there in that corner. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm on my mom's computer, so it's so hard. That's the cage. Right there in that pink thing. So you can see there's Etsy. Um um I'm put you right there. Sorry, my room's all a mess. So right here. Here's Etsy in this little cage thing. Someday she'll come out. Someday. She's getting really sick. So that's why she. Uh, that's why we have her in that little box right there. So I'm gonna bring out Warrior. So and I'm gonna tell you a couple of my experiences. Hold on, a couple of my experiences with hermit crabs. And something that like if you're getting a hermit crab, and you need some exper and you, you need some like advice. Comment down below any questions. So yeah. So when you're um, so I'm gonna start out with like advice. So when you're when you're uh when you are like let's say cleaning out your hermit crab's tank or you're rearranging the tank or you're doing something that you that you don't want your hermit crab to be in the same tank as you're doing something with. So you always want to have like spare thing, like a spare basket. So your hermit cat, it's like a hermit cat daycare. So you can have like a little like just a box. Um, I have this LSP little rocket thing. Itsy loves to like lay in here and sleep, but most of the day she's really in her shell. Rest in peace. She hasn't died yet, but we think she's going to pass away soon. So if you want to comment down below anything saying rest in peace or things like that to Itzy, she would love that, I bet. She needs it. She needs luck because she's not she doing so well. Love. She needs love and luck because she's not doing so well. So, I'll make a video just about and her. If you want a tattoo. Um, so you always want to have food in there. I have foods in these little, there's like little like holes in there that I put food in. And you always want like a little tank, a little a basket thing, it's another LSD thing, with dirt and some food inside there so then they could eat in I there. Over here. And they feel like home, so, yeah. 
that's one advice. And another thing is don't have anything that can make them climb up climb up. You can't have that. But just don't make it like to the top. Like make it like all the way down and then like going like that all the way to the top of the tank. Or if you leave the lid off the lid. If you leave if you leave the lid off and you have that you're not gonna well you're gonna lose your hermit. We've done that three times with Itsy. I think that's why she's dying. Because Sophie likes to leave her in boxes overnight. And she'll find a way to climb out because she's very smart. She'll like, like, like cardboard. And she'll put them in cardboard boxes and she'll like make a plan overnight. And like, oh, I can go up that thing. And then I'll escape. One time, she left her in this Olaf basket. Yeah. And she climbed out. We found her in the laundry. Because she likes to bury herself, so. That happened two times. One time, we were playing with Maggie. And she was showing her Itsy. Showing Maggie Itsy. And, well, she kind of left her overnight in the hallway. Yeah. Our hallway. And she climbed out. And she went into the bathroom, slept in the laundry, and next few days found her almost dead. But then we gave her some water, food, lots of lots of love. And she finally, you know, regenerated. And so, yeah, don't leave them over overnight in boxes. Next thing is food. So they like. They like food. So of course they like food. They're not picky eaters, so uh, they'll eat anything. They like fruit, vegetables. We just give them scraps of our dinner. She like, I know my hermit crab likes Mexican rice, cause she, but he smells bad in the morning, so I give that like to him like every single weekend, cause my mom makes the best Mexican rice. But seriously, in the morning he smells bad. His poop, woo. Um, but Itsy, overnight she'll do all of her activities. And during the day, she'll just stay in her little cubby thing, doing her business. So, yeah, um, that's for food. For water, you need two bowls. You need one. No. Oh. So, you need a water bowl, two water bowls. Uh, one for fresh water, one for salty water. So, if you, you need aquarium salt, put it in a bigger bowl. Then, I have a cat bowl that have for the salt water and I just have a random hermit crab just full for yeah for the um water. Um on oh, also for food I give them this. It's hermit crab pellets. Hey that looks exactly like a warrior. Hermit crab right there. Come see. And I just give them like these brown pellets. I love the smell of fish food and hermit crab food. It smells so good. Um, but I have not tasted it. I'm scared to. I think I'm gonna like poop like a hermit crab or a duck, which has been happening. Not now, but that happens to some people. Um, let's not talk about that right now because that's kind of just weird. Um, so now privacy. So you want to get your hermit crab something for them to molt. So I have a little hut that they tear down the one I'm really mad out at, about. So yeah. And you just want to let them have like a little space, their own little bubble. Some hermit crabs like to, you know, have their own little square. Like I have, they have their own little hut thing. Um, so yeah, 
this video is getting super long, so um, um, if you want a part two, just ask. So, see you later, and this is to dance dance gymnastics. Yeah. And now I want to play TV. Yeah.